One of South Africa's leading educationalists, former struggle activist Graham Bloch, has died. He lectured at the University of the Western Cape for several years. His brother Lance announced his passing in a Facebook post this morning. He described Graham as a humble, brave, great man and a South African hero. Bloch suffered from a neurodegenerative disease, according to his bro brother. His wife, struggle stalwart Cheryl Carolas, was by his side when he passed away peacefully. Education expert Mary Metcalf is joining us now here on the Medium View to pay tribute to the late Graham Bloch. Ms. Metcalf, uh, thank you for joining us on the Medium View and ENCA. Not such a good afternoon with the news of the passing of Graham Bloch. It is indeed a great loss, not only to the family, to whom I'm sure we all are sending condolences, the Carolus family and the Bloch family, but also it's the passing of, as his brother has said, a brave and a humble man who contributed greatly to the South Africa that we're still building today. He was intellectually rigorous. He was passionate and committed about improving the lives of all South Africans, of addressing issues of social justice. And he leaves a big gap in our national life. You know, as a, as a journalist, I've had the the privilege of interviewing him on education issues. I actually recall that one such interview took place in this very studio where I'm talking to you from here at ENC in Hyde Park about challenges of our education system. I mean, he had a clear uh, 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 view of what needed to be done, the progress made. He, he talked about the challenges, but also acknowledged progress that has been made. Uh, I, I mean, uh, his, um, his mind when it came to education was very sharp up around the issues that face us. How should we remember him and how should we honor his legacy? We need to honor his legacy by continuing to build towards everything that he fought for and struggled for. We need to acknowledge that education is not yet where it should be, that his book, which I think is a real bestseller in South African education, has really contributed to a critical perspective on what we can do better. But as you say, it was critical and constructive. At this time, I think we also need to just remember him as a, a family person, a person who had such a wonderful relationship with friends and with family. I always so admired the relationship that he had with Cheryl. They did such fabulous things together. They explored the world. They were interested in traveling. They were constantly engaged in what is happening in South Africa. They were uh, so keen on being healthy and, being, and exercising and running. I just admired that. So we, we need to acknowledge the incredible role that Cheryl played in supporting him in these very difficult difficult last years. And I think we need to remember that in all of our relationships and in our work, we have to build a South Africa that so many people struggled for, so many people gave their lives for, and to do it within a sense of community and care with our families, with community, and accepting the public responsibilities of improving South Africa and education in particular. Mary Metcalf, thank you very much for your time. Our condolences to you as a, a comrade of Graham Block and a, a colleague in the, in, the, in, the, in the sector of education. And our condolences as well to Cheryl Carolas and the family on the passing of Graham Block, described by his brother earlier on as humble, uh, brave and great man and a South African hero. Now, the ANC has also paid tribute to Block in a statement released just a short while ago. It hailed Block as a revolutionary and a distinguished son who consciously chose to fight a cruel and inhumane system.